Blessing Time Home God Show. I'm your host, Peter Van Dievener, editor of the Friday Home God. Today we'll talk about the new homes market and some of the new designs out there. We're going to focus on the move up buyer. The Home Guide this week features the floor plans of some new designs being built in the area. And also, we're going to take a viewer's call. But first, let me introduce my guest. We have Bob Simmons, Senior Vice President of Kevin Four Lines. Bob, thanks for coming on. And Jeff Love, an architect. Okay, in the Home Guide this week, um, we were midway in a series where we're talking about the new floor plans that are in the market. We've got a, a picture I want to show of the Home Guide cover to show you a special series that we're doing. But we talked this week specifically about uh, floor plans. There's, there's the picture of it. We talked there about flexibility in floor plans. The fact that today, more than five years ago, you can kind of design the floor plan. Mm -hmm. Jeff, you're an architect who designs for many builders in, in this area. Um, when, you, when you're when you designing today, you, you put more flexibility into it? Uh, sure, and I do it for the fact that Builders like Bob build on more than one site in more than one area. And not only do you want houses that grow in perimeters and width and depth, with maintaining the same core, you want rooms, I call them swing rooms for, for lack of another name. That's rooms on the first level that can be an optional library, an in-law suite, a guest bedroom, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. So that's how we work flexibility. Mm -hmm. Let's, we've got a picture of one of your, your homes, Bob, that we'd like to put up. Um, what, what's, what house, what model is this? Uh, this is one of our village home series in Spring Ridge. Uh, this home was designed for the move up from either condominium, town home, uh, or perhaps a discretionary choice between a town home is a first time uh, single family home. Where is Spring Ridge? Spring Ridge is in Frederick, Maryland. Okay, and how, what's, the, what's the price? Uh, these homes runs, run from uh, 159 to 180. Okay. Is and this a good example of what we've been talking about inside? You have more. You have, you have a pretty good choice of how you want to lay it out. It's a very good example because typically in a home that is all, a starter home, you don't have as much flexibility as you have in the, the more expensive larger homes. But in this particular situation, we what we've tried to do is target the starter market that you know with perhaps young family, but also the empty nester move down market. Right. Jeff, let me ask you this. Another thing that we talked about in the Home Guide in, on, in our series on floor plans is that a lot of builders now are, are not even offering the formal um, living room. They're saying that most people are using a family room. And why put a family room and a living room? Um, is, is this a life, because of lifestyle? Well, it's, it's, it, I'm not sure it's basically because of lifestyle. It may be a reason that builders are trying to build homes that are more affordable and with combining them on, on denser lots, they're also trying to reduce the footage. And somewhere, you've got to take the footage out to keep the price down. And we all live more in our kitchen, family room, breakfast area than we do ever in our living room. Living room is for formal entertaining, and we just don't do it anymore. Mm -hmm. We're in the dress-down market. People don't wear ties anymore to work in, mm -hmm. in some of the larger institutions. And, uh, We're all too busy, too creative. Yeah. And, and you're there. When you're cooking, that's the only time you can be with your family, mm -hmm. and that's the important place to be in the house. So mm -hmm. living rooms now have become what we consider parlors. Mm -hmm. I'd like to agree with Jeff, but we put a little different spin on it with our designs. What we've done is we've taken the living room, even in the homes we looked at a, a moment ago, and made them or increase the potential for multi-use rooms. So that room itself, which many, many people want for resale or for lifestyle, uh, we can still incorporate it in the house, but they can use it for their own lifestyle in the meantime and still have a, quote, living room space if they need it. They can, in my home, I use it for a uh, music room, mm -hmm. uh, a gathering place. Some people have used it for studies. Mm -hmm. But the space is important from that aspect. So I think it's more of a multi-use, uh, what was the term used? All right. Swing rooms. Swing rooms. <laughs> whatever turns yeah, on. Right. Right. However it works. However it works. All right, we've got another house we want to show, Bob, that uh, Kendler Four Lines is building. This home, uh, we're going to have on, this is built, uh, we have it at Alexander's Grove in Ashburn Village. Okay. Have it at Spring Ridge in Frederick. Okay. Uh, we built it in Montgomery County. Uh, the price this, range on this? Uh, this home you can is 250 to okay. 360. I mean, we've got a lot of flexibility in that particular manner mm -hmm. series. But the idea is we can give people a choice of the different interiors plus themed exteriors on virtually every house mm -hmm. type that we have. Mm -hmm. Once again, gives them a little bit more 
uh, choice for the Kettle Four Line Zones, and it's a little bit different, a little unique, and a little more targeted. Mm -hmm. Quickly, Jeff, because we're running out of time, this, the outside has several textures on it, and that's really almost a trademark, I think, of the mm -hmm. 80s and the 90s. Well, it is, and it's also variations of builders trying to bring new ideas to the market, which is typically brick. Bob's painted brick in the past. It has an excellent uh, curb appeal. Imitation stucco is is an insulation value that brick doesn't offer, um, and, and we're seeing that being introduced in the market heavily now. So we're doing everything from vertical siding, board and batten siding, shingles. The builders on the East Coast now are trying a little bit of everything, and I think they're trying to be successful in most cases. Okay, great. Thank you very much. We're going to come back and we're going to talk about the resale market in August, and we'll also continue our discussion about floor plans, so stay with us.